right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. I greet you again, wonderful people of Biafra. I greet you again, wonderful people, freedom fighters. Just uh, give me some minute, please. All right, great people. Um, let me check on my other platform if I'm already there. I think I'm already there. I think, uh, let me see other platform that is available to me so that I will be able to move. All right, we are there. We are there. We are there. We are there. All right, wonderful people. All right, freedom fighters. I greet you all once again in the name of Chukoki Kabia. She does here, Biafra, I salute you. I want you people to write names so I can be able to salute people that are here. Of course, I'm now on Rapture Media and uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, platform that is available to me. I will try also to be able to check other platform to be able to greet people. Let me move away from here and go to other platform because it's very, very important that I salute my people. You know that in this Biafran restoration, project that we are. We mean business. Um, we mean business here. We are not joking. Shinedu uh, John, you are welcome to this wonderful program by Mazu Okenina Okechukun, known as the Biafran Child in Wachineke. I greet you all today like I promised that I'm going to come. Of course, I did not make the announcement. There is no publication on this. I'm going to be back again the way I used to do my thing, but time will change. No, it's okay. Get up. Abba, don't make noise, please, okay? You can play, but don't make noise. Uh, thank you, great people. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about things that matters. I'm going to be talking about Biafran Restoration Project. I'm going to be talking about the moving forward. I'm going to uh, talk about those people that have come or they came in this struggle for destruction. Let me put it that form, destruction. But of course we know they can't get there. It will take them 250 years only to shake the foundation of IPOB under the leadership of Mazen Namdekan. And we all know that nobody can live 250 years on this earth. So before you will get there, of course, you're already gone. And I want you people, you know, uh, uh, there's something that we always said, we always said in our dialect, which is Adish in our place, mostly the Igbo speaking Biafra, or Igbo speaking Biafra, you know, uh, we used to say, Onuru Dewan Nawan also. I want you people to know that today is the last day that uh, they are going to put our brother to rest, which is Ostraman Page, the Prince Ostraman Page. Of course, there is a painful of our, our heart, and uh, we know that this one is a natural death. That is why we know that, of course, like I always tell my people, three things is involved in this life. You know, man will grow old, man will seek, and man will die. And uh, what we are always praying on this earth is for us to live more longer, at least, not to die at age of 50 years. Prince JJ, uh, you are welcome, JJ man. Prince JJ man, you are welcome. So um, I would like us to give a minute silent for our brother, Prince. And it starts now before I will move forward. Thank you, great people.
May the soul of our brother, Ostrom Man, rest in peace. He say, he say, he say, till we see again. Because of course we are going to see again. We don't know where he is today. Uh, because I believe that when man dies, it's like you are sleeping. That is exactly what is happening to our brother now. Our brother is sleeping, and this sleep that he's sleeping now is going to be a very, very long time sleep. And someday, one day, every one of us will still sleep so. And there is no two ways about it. That is why we keep on fighting for Biafran restoration because of the you know, legacy that we are going to put after we are gone. That is why we are here. And now, uh, I want you people to understand that Maze Namde Kanu is a prisoner of conscience. Maze Bariste Fanye Jofo put an article. Let me read it out on his Twitter handle. Of course, I retweet it. I retweet it. And uh, that is also the update of our leader, Maze Namde Okuchuku Kanu. You know? And uh, you know that sometimes a lot of people, they we uh, they are shouting, all those infiltrators, all those uh, you know ectoparasites that they are you know they are coming to you know find the easy way. But they don't know that for you to find easy way, you must send a representative. You must send somebody to be there, to representing you or also at the same time helping the mass and the country to be free. I remember when they came out, they said that they are going to be giving the Mazen Nam the Kano one million naira every every month for his feeding. Do you know the reason why they are doing that? Because they want your contribution. It will sound nice. It will sound sweet that uh, we are giving the Mazen Nam the Kano one million because by then the zoo called Nigeria, the DSS are saying that uh, they don't have money to feed the and the according to the concocted story and deceit from the zoo called Nigeria. You don't have money to feed somebody, but you are keeping the person there. And we know that the so-called competent, because they have gotten to that time that I don't used to call, I don't have to call these people competent, because there is no competent about Nigerian court. There is no order or law in Nigerian, you know, judiciary. There is no truth. There is nothing. That just that is why I keep on saying that Nigeria is Nigeria is a contraption and it's a jungle. That is where you can see when you go to jungle, not in a zoo, jungle, you will see how animals are fighting each other to survive because they have to survive. That is exactly what Nigeria is. Everybody is fighting to survive in a sense that we are not one people. We are not united because we are not one. If we are one people, what happened during this lax election is not going to happen. But now we have understand, and some of you that are still daft in school, some of you that are wicked species, that don't want to learn, I hope you are beginning to learn that we are not one people. And we can never be one. And you see all these things they are saying that uh, diversity is your strength. Diversity is your strength. Believe you me, that person that brought that English out, because me, I'm telling you people, you see that diversity, they are telling you that it's your strength. There is nothing like that. And this diversity, they are telling you that it's your strength, never happened any place in the world. It can never happen. I mean, trying to put water and oil together, and you are telling us that his diversity is our strength. Now you understand what I'm saying. So they went and said that they are going to be paying Mazen Namdekan one million for his feeding. And a lot of people came out by then and shouting and saying, DOS, and that that thing over there. That inconsequential over there, that me compu that knows nothing. A vagabond for that matter. A somebody we have already restricted, deleted in from our way. 
He said, and people were jumping, say, yes, what you cannot do, what you don't know is bigger than Anna Kiyobu's story. Now you have seen what you don't know is bigger than you. Now you understand that these people, this ectoparasite, those people that their frontal lobe is not working. Now you begin to understand that these people know nothing. Are you getting the point now? Now I want you people to just imagine, since the adoption of our leader up to date, these people never sent any representative. These people never called any person at all. We saw one idiot or dictated video. You know, I saw our brother Paul Ashebe. He was trying to, you know, you know, analyze that video of one idiot they called a lawyer. But I something Mazia Ashebe Paul could not see in that video. That is a dictated video. That idiot was not in Abuja. Let me tell you something. It's impossible. Let me tell you, it's only Mazen Namikani can say so, and nothing will happen. And they have done it, town with that number. He went to court. He told you people that Bugari cannot jail me. And I hope I, I have the video, I will bring it, because I have a lot of videos also to show our people. But I just want to use this thing as a preamble to water my ground so I can have a safer landing. Now you understand what I'm saying. So I can have a safer landing. I'm still having running nose. So you have to bear it. So what I'm saying now, when there is no representative, there is nothing. We saw one idiot was making a selfie, saying that uh, we are autopilot, the zoo will do this, we are going to destroy. You are in court of Abuja, a non-entity, a somebody that is nobody. You are there challenging. They, <laughs> when I saw that video, I said, look at this addicted video that somebody just used, like all these things they are doing before. Like uh, the sit at home that happened two years ago, that every place was lock and key. They will now bring the video. They will mute the video. Then we share the video to Facebook or any platform. Now they will also bring out the video back again. Now, silent video they have already because the video, there's a lot of, that's what I'm trying to tell you how they audit the video. Now they will bring old video that we have. That we, I mean, the sit at home during when Mazen Namikan was here, that everything was lock and key, like this target of me, because there's a one job that is also speaking down. Now they will bring the video. Then we share the video as they are sharing the video on Facebook, because that is the one I know very well. As they are sharing the video on Facebook, they will mute it. It will not have voice now. After they share it, they are not going to share it public. They are going to make it private. Only them alone can see the video. Now they will mute it and share it. After they share the video, now they will also you know, bring out that video. When they will bring it out again, it will be no voice. Now they will begin to add their own voice on top. Everything is water, water. Uh, this is started, uh, this is uh, 16 of uh, April, 2023. We are moving forward. Sit at home is going. You don't know that it's a dick video. I'm just trying to tell you people so you will know. We saw that idiot, he was in Abuja, according to what he's doing, that in Abuja, in the, in, in the main gate, like, because when you see, you will see that people are far away from where he is. Now he begin to say, ah, we are going to burn Nigeria, we are going to do it. I'm looking at this idiot. Even though our son of Sakome, S-A-N, never say something like it. But Stefan Yejofo cannot say something like that. Because he knows that when he begin, they are lawyers. You are not into free, they are lawyers. You can't say because you are still practicing under Nigeria. But that idiot was there making, and they are sharing the video. Everybody were jumping up saying that, yes, hey, they have come. You don't know that this is a propaganda. Now the money is gone. They are now begging. I'm just trying to tell you people so you will know. Now, they are waiting for Bariste Fanye Jofo to also come and uh, give us update. Everybody, all of them, they are still waiting to the, is it November they put it? Every one of us are still waiting. And the, our legal team this time around, they are still pushing so hard to bring the date closer. These idiots, all those people that they are saying they are giving the Mazen Nam the kind of one million, are they still giving the one million or they are just come out on social media and begin to blab? Because all these things, only what they have is only just to talk. They are Facebook freedom fighter, YouTube freedom fighter, getting money, nothing else. Confusing and deceiving our people. Are they still giving the Mazen Namikan one million? 
a law ye jima you remember that I talk about, you know, sometimes when I bring issue of Bruce Fame, I am one of the people that talk about Bruce Fame from the beginning. But when I was talking about Bruce Fame, I told you the reason why Bruce Fame was in that contraption for four times. Because Bruce Fame was hired by Bridget Okafo. Oyibon and Nelly Ofebu and Simon Ebilima, they hired this idiot to go to Nigeria and take the signature of Mazen Nandikano to start government in exile. It couldn't work for them. I, 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 I did the video. The video went viral. And today, do you know what the autopilots are telling me? They came, they, some of them will come to my Twitter. They will be telling me, I thought that you were against this person before. Now you are listening to what he said. Listen to me. That is why I am unique. There is something that you will say, you know, I don't care who you are. When the truth comes out from your mouth, I'm going to use it. You see all these, our governors, our representatives. I have did a video about Ralph Wazrike when I was, when I'm, when I was praising Ralph Wazrike. According to what he said, I am not telling you that I don't know who Ralph Wazrike is. I have mentioned some, a lot of, when we were fighting Mbaka, when we were uh, defending Mbaka, I mean to say. Does it mean that I don't know who Mbaka is? Of course I know who Mbaka is. When I was defending uh, Olisametu, does it mean that I don't know who is Olisametu? Of course I know who he is. When I was defending this uh, uh, law panta, idiot to call all Jose Okalo, that have given our land to Fulanese, when they put uh, all Jose Okalo in prison, when I was defending all Jose Okalo, does it mean that I don't know who he is? Of course I know who he is. But there are some things that you will do, you will say. We are go when we listen to it, if we make sense to us, we are going to bring it out. I am the first person. When I was telling people about Bruce Fame, Eberima was in his, enter his room or kitchen. He was there, castigating me, saying all manners of things about me. That I am a man, I don't need the progress of people. That I'm, I am saying things that is not supposed to say that a, a Bruce Fame is working, is doing that. Is, they were saying things about me. Why I have saw what is happening? Because that is their plan. By then, they were working together with Bruce Fame. Now, are you getting the point I'm saying now? By then, I was telling them who Bruce Fame is. They don't want to listen. To the extent that as a bureau, I have. I have communication with Ezebiro. He also told me something about Brufame. That Brufame is nobody. He's, uh, uh, he, his tenor have gone. Uh, this time around is nothing. You know, by that time, Brufame was with Bridget Okafo, Rabbit Chasse, um, Kayafia, Oyibo, Nelly Ofebu, and this Eberima. They were together. They were the people that are paying Brufame, especially Bridget Okafo. Bridget Okafo is the one in front. When I was saying all these things, none of them want to listen to me. The video is out there. You know, we don't delete our video. Sometimes some people will think because as a bureau went back to connive with Brufame, come out and begin to speak, that we are going to delete the video that we have already made. We don't do that. Whatever we did here stands. We can never delete it. Because everything we are saying is authentic. Gospel. Now, after Bruce have left, probably things were not going well again with Eberima and all this thing. Or because all of them they are criminals. I don't lie about what I'm saying. All of them they need money. I told you people that Bruce was in Nigeria for four days. He couldn't see Mazen Namdekan, and at the same time he collapsed because the heat is too much. He thought that he's in America. No, he faint. I'm, am I lying? Ask people; they will tell you he fainted. And the time that he be able to see Mazen Namdekani was the help of Barista Fanny Jofo to be able to be there and speak to people. After the court, he will make a press release. Because of Barista Fanny Jofo, without Barista Fanny Jofo, Bruce Frame can never say anything. They won't even allow him to cross the, the court because he's a foreigner. He did not practice law in Nigeria. That is something people don't understand. You say you want to bring a, 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 somebody that is a lawyer from outside the country. If the person is, did not practice law in that country, it's not getting there. That is why we went to go and look for SAN, our Michael Sakoni. 
The Sene Berima went on further to castigate, to begin to say all manners of things about our son. Nobody listened to him. Now, as a bureau, are now, you know, hijacked Brufem from Bridget to Okafo. Because if you ask Eze Biro, he will also tell you that Bridget, Eze Biro is one of one of those people that hated Bridget Oka from, from the day one. I am not telling you that Bridget Oka for somebody. Bridget Oka for himself is a big time criminal. That one that said that Onye Du said that he's a woman leader. You know, he used woman leader to begin to deceive our people. You are living in America, your comfortable zone, where the security is everywhere. You are saying you are a woman leader. And you have forgotten that we have women in our land, the Biafra land. Omoada. Every day you call them, they will come out on the street. They are giving you a woman leader in America that you will go and eat burger. After you eat burger, you sleep and wake up. People are dying every single day. You are there claiming that you are a woman leader. So your woman leader now is to com control the women's, the women's in Biafra land. Is it what you are telling me? That is why we are saying that things have to change when only do come out. All this nonsense position they are going to stop it if you know that you don't have the heart to work for biafra one day pack yourself you pack yourself one side we are not coming here to 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 paint words or begin to run around the bush or begin to shoot sh shit shadow no we are telling you the truth if you are not ready you pack yourself one side let people that are you let people that are ready to to take this bull by the horn let them confront let us stay front to, to see what will happen. Let us see all these people that are messing up, that are talking all sorts of rubbish. Let us see if they can have that mouth to speak. Then you will know that, that some people are fanatical about this Biafran restoration project. This is how it is. I want you people to go to Abazonia. They are posting it every single day. You see, sometimes some people will come and tell you, is it not what this Eberima is doing? No, they are not the same. It's not what Eberima is doing. Eberima is a double agent. You see, if Eberima is really working for Biafran restoration, of course, nobody, uh, do you think I will come here begin to talk about him? The answer is no. I knew this from the day one. When that idiot begin now, Wane Kaneka, is when I know that this guy, he did not meant well for this struggle. He's a double agent. That is why when he's telling you, guys, is it not the same thing? No, they are not the same. Eberima is killing you, our own people. The enemies are there. He did not touch them. They are coming from uh, Enugu State. The Fulani is from Chad, Nijeo, Mali. They are trooping, killing, rampaging, taking over our territory, our lands, our communities. Eberima is there also helping them, killing our own people. And some of you will say that I will, I'm posting the name of uh, your commander, Chukubo Oko. I am not posting the name of your commander. We are posting the name of those they have deviated. They are now killing our people, our own people. You see, and you see all these things. I understand what Onyendu said. If you kill our people, Biafra will not come. Not the infiltrators. Not the ectoparasite. Not those people that don't have ability to reason. No, they are not our own people. You cannot begin to sell out the struggle and you claim that you are our own people. No. I am telling you people, someday, one day, you see this one, they are calling uh, Butozo. Onogano Storia. Storia Agaba very soon. Imanahana and Ogunuku. Ogu can never help you. Juju cannot help you. Juju can never fight for you. You have to come, I mean, in collective to be able to push this struggle forward. See all of them, there's people they just massacred in Nehala, just with army. They just took there with all the juju they have in their waist. Did the juju help them? No. You see all these things that you are seeing, Butozo. You see that he is escaping, they will come here. It's because he's getting information. Is working directly with those people in power. When they that is why they are killing our people. You sometimes they will tell you Butuzo can disappear and not disappear. That is the same thing that happened to those, that idiot that married only 13 wives. 
They think that they can disappear. They don't disappear. Because they are getting information. Now, when they see that they have become Ododo Beren, Efe, Janyo Mamre, now they will sell them out. Very, very soon. I am telling you, very, very soon, you know, uh, the story of uh, Butozo. You know, very, very soon, you know, the story. And the same time, the will still come and tell us that uh, we will keep on publishing their names. When we get their photos, we publish it. You cannot be there inviting Fulanis to come to our land. You cannot be there inviting the terrorists to come and begin to kill people in our land. We can never accept it. We can't. Now, Barista Fanya Jofo wrote, because we are still waiting for him. All of us are waiting for him. They, there is no plan. They don't have any plan. They are waiting for only one person, Mazi Barista Fanya Jofo and the group, San, S-A-N or Sakowin. Have our lawyer, Jima, cause tell you people anything. As now Bruce Fame said that according to Mar according to Bruce Fame, he said Mazen Namdekano rejected. He said that there is nothing like government in exile. Have you, uh, lawyer Jimako said anything? A lawyer Jimako, I'm asking you, have you said, have you put any write up out there? Have you come out and tell Biafrance what Mazen, the message of Mazen Namdekano to Simon? Have you said anything? How will you say something? Are they not the people that are paying you people? You think we have stopped? I never in my own. Um, Ask a lawyer Jimako why he never come out and tell only tell us what only they told him. The message they sent to Simon Ekirima. But Stephen Ejofo have came out and told us that Mazen Namrikanu said he has nothing doing with Simon Ekirima. They came to Sam or Sakome. Simon ever said that they paid him. You know, he's a senior advocate. He don't want to go so much. He just dropped a message, right? Say this guy is a criminal. Nemeka came out and can have got touch him way off, but there's something that he said about the killing of a pregnant woman or the people that are, you know, pushing sit at home by then, by then three days or four days sit at home that carries no water. All of them die like dodo. Nemeka came out and said that Onyendu said those people that are putting sit at home we are not part of them. All of them have said only a lawyer Jimakon on our bogari kampuramu. I don't want to use a, a, you know, a very hard or harsh word on him. But I want him to change. To come out and condemn the, the evil of all these people they have done. Because at the end, we are not going to stop. <coughs> we are not going to stop. <coughs> but Stephen Yejofo wrote to Ezu Moshineke, as far as the most high Chukwu Kikabi Ama rules in the fear of a man, the end result will be productive and fulfilling the time is here with us. Be assured that his promise are guaranteed and confirmed. Otuto Dirono, Eziumu Shineke, why wishing you all a productive week ahead? He said, he said, he said, he said. This is the right up by. by Sorry, my people. This is right up by Barry Stefan Ejofo. Elite Council. Mazen Namdekan most trusted. Barry Stefan Ejofo is Mazen Namdekan most trusted. And everything that Barry Stefan Ejofo said is authentic. I am saying it for you to know. Because their main aim is to remove Mazi Barry Stefan Ejofo. Ke we wuro ko kwa na kwa lo ye jima koti ide. Ko we pota we na atu asini ne deno wa. A lo ye jima ko we not tell onye ndu what is happening. He will go there gossiping. He, what they are doing is gossip. Bia franchise de nyo mamle e buri aje kolo onye ndu. Bia franchise de kakwa toilet. Eh... As a bureau potential amazing nam they cannot have given magic those seven instruction no one have carried they never carried anyone kakobari aka and you have forgotten that magic those is the head of directorate of state mazin nam they cannot in one of his broadcasts somebody make an uh, uh, you know a suggestion or to i mean trying to 
say something to Mazen Namdekan. I have forgotten where the video is. Mazen Namdekan told him that I have to go to the director of the state. And whatever they said is final. Whenever they conclude, they will come back and give him the reply. Which is Mazichi Kedozim is the final say. Whatever he says goes. Hana nyuni mamini yenu. Madam Fenas, hana abwagaragara. Hana hana abwagaragara ni sifana. We are here. We are not going anywhere. We are going to take full responsible responsibility of this movement. If you warrant that we are going to enter prison for Biafra to come, we are not. We are not. You see, we are going to go there. But I just want to stop it here on Madam Fenas. They can do whatever they want to do. They can take, you know, anywhere. They have called uh, criminal police to me, isn't it? They call police to me, isn't it? And today I'm still here because my hands are clear. And I'm not ready to take anything from anybody. That is why I'm here. You see? But this is how this life is. Let me, let me show you people what you have to do. I want us to listen. Let me introduce myself first before I will bring the onion to Mazen Namdekan. And we are going to listen to uh, our dim Odume Gojuku today. You know, during 1967 to 1970, you know, a lot of things happened that time. They killed, maimed, destruction of souls of our people, bombing of our houses, our properties. At the end, they told us that the war have ended. Our people, they organize our people to come and now and greet the Nigerian military or Nigerian army so that they can, you know, begin to live together according to what because, but, but we know that mm, such a thing is not possible. At the same time, they call our people, they gather them, they kill them, they, 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 they massacre all of them while they were lying to us that the war have ended. But the war is still going on. In Ahaba, they massacred our people in Ahaba. People that are coming to welcome now the Nigerian military, that the peace have come. They, 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 they destroy everybody. Now you understand. All right, wonderful people, I still remember Mazo Kinna Okechukun, known as the Bear Franchise in Washington. The general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra now. I am IPOB under chain of command. Mazen Nandi Okuchukukano is the highest commander and the highest authority on Biafra restoration projects. As he stands now, Mazishi Kedojem is the one in charge. And everything that he says goes. You can't stop it. They never burn your mama. Me, I'm telling you, you can to stop any directive from Mazichi Kedozim. Unless, but the less is not here. Because Mazen Namdekan is still in DSS dungeon. Mazichi Kedozim is the one in charge. So whatever he says goes. Because if the order will come, surely he must come from a Baristefanye Jofo. This is the only man that we listen to. I am telling you people. I, I, am, am I lying to you? Only Baristefanye Jofo is the only lawyer that we listen to. Listen, when I'm saying this, I'm not saying that, you know, San Osakome is... You know, we, 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 we put him in that position where he is. But we know that Baristefan Yejofo is a man that we have been communicating for a long time, even though 2015. So Baristefan Yejofo and Sam Osakome, they are in the same basket. So we know that all of the two of them, most of them, they are working together. So when I'm saying this, don't go and begin to misquote me and be saying things you don't know. Everything Baristefan Yejofo tells us, this is how it is. And this is how Mazen Namdekan said it. A lawyer Jimako never say anything. They are using a lawyer Jimako. Money is not coming again now. We told them, <clears throat> we told Finance that we are the indigenous people. We are the great people of Biafra. You can't sit on top of the money of the great people that have, con we that have contributed the money. And you are telling us that our money is independent. That means that that one you hold, you will still hold it. Hold it there. 
We know the reason why we don't want to double into that issue of money so much. But time is coming when we are going to double into that money. We are waiting for Mazin Namdekano. Because when you ask them, they will tell you, eh, Mazin said, eh, it's a gospel. He opened up with gospel. And I agree with story. The same Mazin Namdekano told you that go and listen to it. Very much. And today he have deviated. The same Mazin Namdekano told you to come and listen to Biafran Chai, the one she named Mazin Kichukun. Onyoma. Bro, Onyoma. He mentioned my name more than any other media warrior. Have I deviated? I can use also that opportunity to begin to stole from our people because, you know, I know this time around is very, very hard for me because I have made everything clear to people. But I know that, the, I know a lot of people that use the same advantage when the man said, I can't mention their name. They came out, they begin to jump, they sing, they, they make broadcast every minute, every second, trying to think that they, this is the way it is. But you have forgotten that Mazen Nambi can call your name last. But you have forgotten that Mazen Nambi can, there's a people that he first called their name. The first time Mazen Nambi can mention name, he did not mention Ibirima. People were the people were writing. I saw a lot of people on that uh, post of Mazen Nambi Kano. Because Mazen Nambi Kano know the people that he really want to mention from the beginning. He knows. That is why when he mentioned their name, he published their picture. This is the people that Mazen Namdekan himself is watching them. Not the people now, they, because after Mazen Namdekan mentioned the name of those, those first people that he published, later people begin to write. Mazen did not mention the name of this person. Mazen did not call this person. Mazen did not call this person. And I have told you people that Mazen Namdekan is a good man. He's a pure water. No, you can never see a good person like Mazen Namdekan. You cannot. The man have a human feeling. Mazen Namdekano, he love, he love his own people so much that he don't want them anything to happen to them. But Mazen don't know that it's not that way, because these people that you are you you want to bring freedom for them, they are not their sense is not is not working. So you have to do extraordinary thing for them to be able to come back to their right senses. Because we are in a African people are in a primitive life. In dark ages, that they, they don't reason. So you have to do extraordinary things to revive their brains back so that they will understand that this thing, we need it, whether you like it or not. By fire, by force. Abu at the church. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Now you understand what I'm saying. So, let us listen to Mazen Namdekan. His preaching about what happened to our people in 1967 to 1970. Wait, wait. Only do wait. They, they have to see your face before they will say the Afran child is lying. You know, all their own is propaganda. You lie, lie, yeah, 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 cool. We are the only people on this earth that suffered a pogrom, annihilation, a holocaust. There is not one single foundation stone left anywhere to remember those people. Yes. Not one. Not one. Before Frederick Lugan came and created the monstrosity called Nigeria, yes. I didn't know who this man was. Oh, I didn't know. My ancestors never knew him. Nobody knows. He came from somewhere. Overnight, I said, from now onwards, your name is Nigeria. And we're looking at him. You see? But of course, he came with whiskey, sugar, and um, chocolate. And um, what does he come with? He came with a um, bicycle and mirror to confuse us. We said, oh my goodness, this um, um, Betule, the way they are, maybe, who knows, with, with their bicycle, who knows, what they're saying is correct. When the missionaries came, they told us that God sent them. Yes. And being very godly people, we believe them. We believe them. That God may have sent them. No, and nobody did. sent them. The same thing they said we should do, we did. Believing that God sent them. We didn't know it's just the, the palm oil, the palm canal, the cocoa. And the oil that they are taking. They said that God sent us from what is a Mosino or Catholic church. That God sent them. 
So that type of nonsense would not wash with us anymore. You see? I am not <laughs> going to pretend to take over Kent. No. Oh, sorry. No, stay in your land. If, if you want oil, you dash it on your feet. We will dash them. It. But I was born a free person, and I intend to die a Biafra, a free person. It is either we get Biafra or I die fighting for Biafra. Oh, two are called the way. Okay, man, man. With a life of slavery in Ireland, a life of slavery in Britain, a life of slavery in Germany, a life of abundance, stupidity, and hopelessness in America is not for me. Thank you, Onyendo. It's not for us. Mr. Director, sir, I have another question. Uh, uh, my question is this. Uh, the organization, is this all about moving people to death or actualizing the state of Biafra? Without death, you cannot have life. Thank you. And uh, seeing the political equation, imagine uh, in Nigeria at the moment, uh, does your supposed coming uh, Republic of Biafra include uh, the South Southern people? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you see this question that this, uh, this, uh, I don't know, this person asks. Um, Onyendu said, without death, there will not, there will nothing be like life. There will not be life. That is why when Onyendu will come out, we are going to push on that. There is no two ways about it. We are going to push on that. We have gotten to that level of awareness, we have created awareness enough. We have already carried our campaign to, to, to four corners of the world. Nobody will say today they never heard about Biafran restoration, how they are killing us, maiming our people, destruction of souls and properties of our people today in Biafran land. Nobody. If European Union can talk about Mazen Namdekan. That means that the world have heard about him. They have know what the evil that these people are committing against our people. They know everything. So we have gotten to that level. All of you bloggers, all of you, Sini Bundi, Bona Konyo, knowing that Facebook, when I yap, you know, I don't give people warning two times. And I know the warning that I gave other people, they, they receive it. And they, 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 they understand that something can happen. Because we are not coming here to joke. We are not coming here to joke. We Man dies, woman burns another. So you want to go to heaven, but you don't want to die. And we have forgotten before you see Shukuo Kikabiyama, according to your God or according to your Bible, God, you must die. And you don't want to die. So what are you waiting for? I want you to know that since 1967 to 70, there is no stone where only people suffer, so, uh, suffer from pogrom. Nobody else. And the world don't want to recognize it. And one idiot is saying that in any way he's going to stop. I'm going to bring him. We are going to make him a public figure. Let us listen to Onyendo. South, south before. I mean, uh, with the state of Nigeria, there is there's a six geopolitical zone, and we have to face the fact that there's six geopolitical zone, and the minorities in the former eastern region have been uh, pushed under the south. Uh, who is a minority? The judge, the fix. A minority, mm -hmm. minority against who? Yes, minority against who? Do they include? I'm asking you. You're a journalist. Minority against who? Idiotic journalist. I cannot be in my father's compound. You come and say I'm a minority. 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 You, there has to be a definition. What we are looking at here is a definition drawn up by people who are alien to our way of life. I have said it before. I said it last night, and I will repeat it. The word Jew is an is um, what is called a corrupted version of Judah. In Israel, Judah is only that one tribe. But the name Judah took over everybody else. Neither by commission or omission. Do you believe I, 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 I need to answer your questions? So you come to your question. Well, yes, Nigerian journalism. We're not going anywhere. Nigerian journalism. Jews took over. Criminals. 
It doesn't mean that the other tribes are not there, like Benjamin and all the rest of them. They, they are, are there. But did you take over? Nobody has been able to disprove people of a tongue, ATP, Bibio, and Igbo people are from one family. Yes, we are. Nobody has disproved it. Nobody. They are one people. Nobody has disproved it. Saying that the Calabars, the people in Apaibom, if they go, oh, what is going to happen to them? And when I was studying in England many, many years ago, something occurred to me. Why did you not have a minority commission in the north? No, there's not. You have the Tiki people, yes. the Yupe people, yes. the Wadi people, yes. the Yurong people. Why no minority commission? No, 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 no. no. Why minority commission here? Mm -hmm. Of course. Very simple. If I want to come to your family and take something from you, I'll get you fighting with your brothers. You're fighting, I'll be cutting away what you have. So that was why they set up the minority commission. There is a difference in emphasis because you see, African people sometimes are a bit stupid. And I'll tell you why. We I are stupid. We get stupid. A change or slight not only in the people. It doesn't mean that at all. In Israel, they have Jewish. Yes. Number two. When Christ was on earth, he was not speaking Hebrews, he was speaking Aramaic. Aramaic. Oh, yeah, this is it. Does that mean he is not an Israeli? He is. He is. Does that mean that those that speak Yiddish are not Jewish people? Does it mean if you speak Hebrew, you don't a, a great teacher. So why is it that when you speak Hebrew, you speak a job, you speak everything, you are different? Yes. But in Israel, you have we are the only people on this earth. Thank you, Onion Do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me shock you people. What Onyendu just said. Because we have every proof. I hope, I hope I have this thing here. That is from our brothers from coastal region of Biafra. Of course, I know that uh, all of us have woken up. But uh, some of us are still... Um, let me find it here. Just give me something because I think I deleted it. I can find it straight from um, Mazishina Samoru page because I think I have deleted it when I just make a screenshot but I want to show you people now so that you will understand see it here see it here I captioned this from Mazishina Samoru page are you seeing it? are you seeing that thing that is down? you see it? we have uh, we have north south West and east are they why are they doing this thing now? We have north, south, west, and east. You see it now. Then we have northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, north. That is what we have there. Now tell me how did our people come with this name called South South? South on top of South. Is anybody, can you show me where they have South South here? Can somebody show me this? Yes, we are seeing it clear now. Can somebody show me where they said South South here? What we have is North, North East, East, South East, which is who we are. They have South. So when you come in this South, it's con including the Yoruba and the Biafran people. Now when they divide it into two, now they go to southwest, and they go to west. Now you understand it. You know why we are showing our people all these things is for us to understand that whenever we are saying things, we know what we are talking about. We are not coming to deceive anybody or begin to tell you that uh, because we want you to join us. You don't need to join us because already we are one people. We are one people already. Now, I want you people to see this idiot here. I want you to see this man. I make the tweet. I make the tweet. And some of you that will come to my tweet, uh, you will see just a mistake. You want to correct me. <laughs> uh oh. Later, you will know that I'm not an Englishman. <laughs> because some of you are daft in school. You see, that is why you see. I want you people to understand something. 
mistake is always occur, even though by writing, by speaking, it does not matter. But I'm not making mistake at all. Because I want you people to understand I'm a learned person. I went to school. I can write, I can read. But that does, that does not mean that sometimes mistake will not occur because whenever I'm making my post, nobody is about to cross-check it. I am the one that putting it out there. And you know sometimes that's I know, you You know, sometimes that's why I know uh, those of our brothers and sisters that are writing articles, whenever they write article, they go through that article over and over and over and over before they will share it. I don't do that because I'm not an article writer. I'm not an article writer. I make a just short article to post. So sometimes you may be writing something on social media. You may think that that is exactly what they, because sometimes you may start with B or C, T, they will bring you the full spelling. You will click it, you will get it. Sometimes you may make mistakes because you are in hurry. Most of my tweets, I, I drop almost 10 to 8 tweets every single day. None of you are doing that. And the tweets are going far. It does not matter. Keep on correcting me. That is why I told you people. You see a Berima. A Berima is, believe me, a Berima is a very big stack illiterate. I don't lie about it. But that does not mean I will come and begin to condemn the way he speaks. This idiot in Finland is not an Englishman. And secondly, he's living in Finland, where, they are, where these people, they speak Finnish. That is why you see me here. I always try to improve more my German speaking. Because I am here in German. Or in Germany, if the case may be. I am here in Germany. I, I want to learn more German than English because here, so I just want to stop it there. I'm not coming here to tell you that in uh, Caspar, no English. No, I, I, I speak very good English and I write correct English. It does not matter. And I prove it all the time. Maybe after of my tweet, 20 tweets, you will see one thing that I write. Some idiot will come and begin to, you correct, you are correcting your papa. You know, correct him more. So, let me bring the idiot here. He said, you know, whenever they want to, they only strong. Only where you can see these people is only when in, it comes on issue of IPOB. You will see them. They will begin to raise their, their shoulders. See, I'm here. See a fulif. Make one see a fulif. I tweeted it. Yes. I tweeted it. We want to make him public. We want to make him public figure. See an idiot here. See him. An non entity. See him. You see him here. He said, he said, he said, <laughs> I just uh, wrote uh, on top of his, uh, all his lamentation. Another fulif will cook. He is looking favor from Caliphate, the Fulani terrorist. That is exactly what he's looking for. He said, school, market, transport unit, which failed to open for business on Monday, will be shut down, Enugu government said. You see? <laughs> you know, uh, this man, this man you are seeing here now, we don't know who is him, and we don't care to know who is him. I don't know if he is the new... Let me open the link to see what position this man is. Let me know his position, by the way. The, gov the governor issued the threat in a, policy, in a policy service announcement made available to journalists on Sunday night, adding that the directive was quell to the recent banned slash cancellation of Mondays. Okay. So this idiot is a new Enugu state governor, or, or, or is, he, is he what he's is telling me here? <laughs> so now I have seen the full, uh, the full gist because I opened the link. This is the link here. This is the link here. An idiot, you. Idiot. I'm going to read it out so you will see. You know, this is my first time opening this. He said, the governor issued... Which is, okay, I don't know if this man is the governor or he said the governor issued. Is he the governor? Who knows? He said the governor issued the threat in a policy service announcement made available to journalists on Sunday night, adding the directive was quelled to 
his recent ban slash cancellation of Monday sit at home. A knock and crannies of the state starting from Monday, June 5, 2023. Mm -hmm. Another one, Nabia. Another sit at home, Nabia. Okay, um, uh, although they uh, is just yapping because this man is just talking rubbish. We have already done the sit at home. I, I don't need I don't need to begin to talk about this man so much. We want to tell him that he should wait. And what is the name of this idiot, by the way? What is his name? The article is too much. The article is too much. The governor Peter Mba of Enugu State has threatened to close school. Okay, so it's true. This man. This man is the new governor of Enugu State. Peter Mba of Enugu State has threatened to close schools, market and transport units and fail to open for business and academic activities on Monday henceforth. He is trying to tell us that henceforth that sit at home will be closed. Uh, there will be cancellation of sit at home on our on a on a the governor issued the threat in a, in a public service announcement made available to the journalists on Sunday night, adding, adding that the directive was quell to his recent ban slash cancellation of Monday sit at home in all knock and crannies of the state starting from Monday, June 5, 2023. So, the article is too much. So this man is a new governor. <laughs> you see, that is why you see our people are evil. They massacred our people. They kill our people. They committed genocide against the great people of Biafra, which is Nigeria and the world. They fought us. And believe you me, they kill our people. They destroy many of our people. And today, a lot of people in other side of the world that they they, they they also witness such a thing that only take a million. Of course, let me just don't call it only because human's life is a human's life. They take a millions of their own people. Today, the world call it genocide. But let me tell you people something. Do you know they kill more than 10 millions of our people? You see this 3.5 million that you people are seeing we are writing every day or sometimes people will write. This is the numbers of the dead recorded. And they are only kids. <laughs> now you understand. They kill 3.5 million kids. Kids. If you when I went to school here in Germany, when you were, when I, that is the first time I know that, oh, so these people really know about Biafran child. That is exactly where I got this my name from. I enter my school. I saw a, a pictures on the wall, different pictures. And as I was, uh, you know, seeing all the pictures, trying to see what is uh, the pictures is all about. The flame, the, because they put the flames on the wall. I went there, I saw the Biafran kings. Because kids here in Germany is also like kings, kings, you know. I say Biafran kings. I say, wow. So the world really know that something like this happens to, to Biafran people. But why these people don't want to recognize that this was a genocide? Why? But I saw the name. That is where I picked this name from. Then I say, yes. If German people can have something like this on their wall, that means I have to choose this name. That is where I get the Biafran child from. Now I turn it from Biafran Kings to Biafran because child means Kings in German. So I turn it to Biafran child. Now you understand. But the people they kill, 3.5 million was only the child they kill. And you know, according to our leader now, there, are no, there is no even stone to recognize these people. And somebody they just put as a governor are now saying from henceforth, that to show you that our people are, they are one of our problems. They are the people that are inviting Fulani. You never get to that seat. Maybe you are only in that seat for five days. 
you are now beginning to threaten your own people because you want the Fulanese, the caliphate, Okoku, you want them to love you. You want them to, you know, like now, you know, a lot of people are, are fighting to be the most, you know, favorite of the Fulani boy. You know, before, before was Dave Umahi. When Dave Umahi was killing, maiming, destroying souls of our people in a bony state. Because they promised him a, 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 a vice president. They told him, go, do this. We are going to assure that you are going to be there. After Dave Omar, he killed, killed, destruction, do a lot of things. Today, he have failed woefully. And as, that, as it was going on, they see that Dave Omar, Dave Omar himself have begun to see that uh, he's beginning to fade out. Now, hope also them started his own. In all, they are telling him, continue, my boy. Continue, my boy. This is what I want. We need people that will deal with you, these people. That is why Gowan said, if you know that uh, Igbo people, because I know that these Igbo people you are seeing today, that they are our governors, believe you me, these people are not 100% Igbos. If you shake their blood, you will know that this is those that full and impregnated their mother. Or those people that they were, they are already pregnant, come down to Biafra land. Or those people that they pregnanted them during the war. Because there is no medication that you can use to remove the baby. And the most of those of our people, they were pregnanted during the war. They keep it secret. Because they, they, they will chase them away. So they uh, allow them to be. Today now, all of them have turned. You see the Roger Sabora also. He went to North to address the, the people of Eastern, Old Eastern region, or so-called Eastern region, which is the Igbo-speaking Biafra. He went to not to address them. He went there instead of him to begin to speak Igbo. No, he did not speak Igbo. <clears throat> okay, speak a uh, <clears throat> borrowed language, which is English. No, he's now speaking in Hausa language. You understand what I'm saying? That to show you that our people, our people has no boss or gods to stand on their own. But we have come to stay. I keep on repeating this. Mazin Nandikan, we are praying for him to be free because we know that. How long are they going to hold this man? How long? Upon all the whole representatives and governors we have today, and they are saying that they are fighting for us, they can't even. Talk to that mass we are to remove mass in Nambekano that so called competent court have released. So Ludo came out last time where he was doing his campaign, telling you people eh, they should release mass in Nambekano for him, they should free mass in Nambekano for him, they should bring mass in Nambekano to him. Just Two days ago, we begin to understand that all this thing that uh, Soludo was saying was just on a bay mouth. He just sent the letter just two days ago. Now you understand. We, I, I, I did a video about it when he, made, when he did the letter, when he wrote the letter to them. So when he was saying all those things were just yapping, or just no pussy open. He never wrote any letter to anybody. Oh no, he the a campaign because he want people to support him. After we fire, now he wrote a letter two days ago. Two days ago, that to show you that everything that we are saying is a gospel. It's a gospel. The date is there. When he did the, the when he, I want you people to go and see when when he did the campaign. When he made that campaign, people are saying. I saw Master Prophet in Amen Kowiri. He came and said, Soludo have spoken. We should support him. We are the Antonis general of that idiot federation said that Soludo never wrote anything to me. He never sent anything to me. Some people are saying that, eh, but later Soludo came out and tell you that it was uh, June or last, uh, last week. He just wrote the letter to them. When he was having a one-on-one -on -one talk with Sheung, now, let me find the video. I think I have the video. 
so that you see when Soludo did that we are saying because here now to us. But according to Soludo, this uh, this thing was long time old. Is it here or not? Yeah, we have it here. See it here. Let us listen. perhaps may have uh, to take his natural course. Yeah, um, thank you very much, Sharon. Thank you for having me. Yes. And thank you to the listeners. Um, yes, the uh, first point to make, uh, Sharon, is that that letter was actually written uh, late April. Late April. Uh, if you see the stamp yes. of the acknowledgement on that we'll letter. See it. It was received in the office of the chief of uh, staff okay. on the uh, 26th. On the 26th. Uh, and um, yes, on the 26th of April. Okay. And uh, the, the letter was actually dated 20th of April. And uh, so that is uh, for a fact. So it wasn't written yesterday. It's about a month. Exactly a month today. Uh, have you people? Have you people understand what I'm saying now? When Soludo was campaigning, saying that they should release Mazen Namdekan, is the how he never wrote this letter. He did not. He did not wrote the letter. Now you understand. So everything that we are saying, I'm not saying that what Soludo said is not good, but don't begin to use Mazen Namdekan for your campaign. A lot of people are using Mazen Namdekan for their campaign. The one they call Efan Yobang, where is Efan Yobang today? He found your banner man call you now call you no no. He thought I forgot about him. I will make a full video, and he will still call people to come and talk to me again. He will call them. He will tell them to come and talk to me. He will call them to come and please to me that we are brothers. That I should not. I should stop talking about him. He will call them because I'm coming back again. When he found your was campaigning, he's moving from here to here, going to Abuja. He shall not worry how she. You don't know that he wants to use Mazen Namdekan and IPOB to campaign for his stupidity and idiocy in him because of political political position. He wants to use Ma this is how they are using Mazen Namdekan every day. Another one came out say that uh, they should release Mazen Namdekan and give him Senate president because he wants to use Mazen Namdekan to 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 forward his uh, ambition for his position. If Anya Obana is there now buying cutlass. Cutlass to fight enemy. Just imagine. Imagine. They say, oh yeah, what is this uh, company? Oh yeah, oh yeah, something. In, it's now using machet to fight the people that are coming with pump action and AK-47. He's buying it. Go, go there and I go, go import, uh, I don't know how many containers of uh, cutlass. Now you are using cutlass now to fight people that are having AK-47. Efan Yoba. Even though I don't even know that all this assassination to you is like a game plan. All you see, oh my people, why our people are so wicked? Why our people are so wicked? You are using your brother to campaign. You are using your brother that is, is passing through pains, sorrows. You are using him to campaign. And after your campaign finish, you fail. And you see that people did not support you or the people that the, you are, you are, I mean, your counterpart are more stronger than you. After the campaign, you see that the, the result have come. And you failed. Now you will stop talking about, you, you have already about, can somebody tell me when Ifan Yoba last speak about Mazen Namdekan? Have you went to court again? The answer is no. Now he's buying cutlass. To go and use Cutler to fight people that are coming with AK-47 pump action. Now you understand how wicked our people is. A wicked species. Very, very wicked. Our people are wicked. Mazen Nanikan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you are a man of your word. You really love us. And believe him, you truly love us. That is why you are facing all these things, all this humiliation, because you love us. 
I just use myself as just a normal person to know to know the counter of the politicians that I have, you know, they have come to my way. Then I'm asking talkless of Mazen Nam Kano. They promised Mazen Nam in Kuje prison. Come, we are going to give you a governor. We will give you a governor. Go out there in the world. Point any house of your choice. Any house of your choice in the whole wide world. We are going to get it for you. Mazen Nam Kano rejected all these things. They killed Mazen Nam the Kano parent because because of the trauma they died. He keep on waxing. That is why I said that not everybody have this mind of freedom fighting. My brother died. My brother died. Somebody that sent me to Europe. He died. I keep on broadcasting. The day they told me that he died, I keep I was broadcasting. Up to date. The day they are burying my brother, I was on broadcast. After I, I, I make a short video, cry, ask Kikabiyama to accept his soul. Because my brother is a very good man. He helped all our family. He is the reason why I'm here today in Europe, doing well. I was broadcasting 24 hours. Nobody even know. There is a day that I was broadcasting somebody that probably know me very well. I think this person is from my family. I saw the name, but uh, of course I blocked the person. I know he's one of my family. He told me, you are here talking. They are making the barrier of your brother, but you are here talking. I look at the person, I say, you don't know. And I probably I know who wrote that. I blocked the person. I did not call the person. Because he don't know the passion I have for Biafra. He, the person don't know the passion I have for Biafra. The same thing happened to Mazen. Mazen Namdekan parent died. Before Mazen Namdekan announced the death of his parent, he was broadcasting without stopping. The day he announced the death of his parent, he kept on broadcasting without stopping. That to show you that some people have made up their mind. I'm not saying that you should not give respect to your loved ones. But everybody is not the same. Everybody is not the same. I know that some people, maybe their brother will die. They will, they will say, okay, let me respect this person for one month, two months. We are not the same. We are not the same. That is why sometimes I look at what is happening. I don't ask anybody to help me. No, I don't. Because I think Chukwu Kikabi Amada, I'm in the position to be able to help my dead brother for his soul to rest in peace with other of my brother. We did it. Chukwu Kikabi Amada. Angie knows my heart. You knows my heart. You knows that I meant good for this struggle. You knows that I'm not coming to this struggle to deceive or to stole from our people. Everything that I'm doing is with my heart. That is why you see I'm not fighting for Mazishi Kedozim alone or Mazishi Nasanguru to defend them, no. Or Mazi Isaiah Oba, Mazin Zurunike, or our national coordinator here in Germany. I'm not defending them. I am just defending the structure. What the structure said. This is the man in charge. He is in charge. This is the man in control of this uh, administration. He is the one. This is the person in charge of this. This is it. Some people will be telling you, why then, why are you having a problem with finance? Yes, there is a man in charge. You must give respect to him. You came out on, on Radio Biafra, where we are worshipping. You said, 
my royalty only to Mazen Nambekano. Who a heck are you to say something like that? A grown-up woman, a mother for that matter. You open your mouth, said, you only your your have only royalty to Mazen Nambekano, and you have forgotten that they, are, they have a leadership. Okay, now Mazen Nambekano cannot give instruction. We are not saying that we are not taking instruction from Mazen Nambekano. Every instruction from Mazen Shikedozim also is directed from Mazen Nambekano. But as a man in charge, he has also every right to make a decision. That is why he's there. So what do you think? So you think that, uh, uh, and sometimes I don't know how our people reason. Mazin Namdekan is in DSS dungeon. Where they have a lot of cameras. Cameras is everywhere. Every directive of Mazin Namdekan is given to the director of the state which Mazin Shikedozim is in charge. Anything that Mazin Namdekan is saying out, the DSS are listening to every single word from Mazin Namdekan's mouth. Every single word that come out from his mouth, they have heard it. How did the, one of the DSS come to know that Memekan, whenever he come to Mazin Namdekan, only what he's talking is money, 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 money. How did they come to say it? Everything they are saying, that is, you know, some people think that when we are talking about DSS, let me tell you people something you don't understand. DSS, they are like Mossad in Israel. That is who they are in Nigeria. They are securities agents on the ground. And you think that Mazin Namdekano as a higher profile person, you think Mazin Namdekano will be in DSS dungeon. And you people don't know the reason why they kept Mazin, they still keeping Mazin Namdekano up to date there. You people don't know the reason because they want to gather information. They want to know in and out of Mazin Namdekano. Because people are visiting Mazin Namdekano. They are discussing with Mazin Namdekano. You remember, when Mazin, they will say before they will enter, then we naked the, our lawyers. At the same time, why they are naked in them, they, are, they are putting them to take off to take off their clothes, they naked them is because they don't want them to take information out, but they can receive information. Now you understand. So you want Mazi Shike Dosyem. To listen to you, maybe you are a lawyer, you went to DSS dungeon. You are telling Mazen Namdekano, uh, uh, Mazen Collins, German coordinator, national coordinator, uh, that is the way he's behaving. Let us remove him. And you want uh, Mazen Namdekano to tell you, yes, go and remove him. And you want Mazen Shike Dozem to say, yes, he is going to remove him. Why the Mazen Shike Dozem that is out here? did not see any fault on the person. So you want Maji Shikedozem to remove somebody that is no fault on him. That is why we have directorate of the state. That is why we have men of honors. Men that can be able to calculate. Men that can be able to put things in order and be able to carry out their directive to know that it can this thing work? Is it, is it right? For us to carry this thing. That is why when they make sit at home, they first sit at home. That uh, is a bureau said that they are doing I, 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 NECO. Do you know that even though that first sit at home, because of the lies, they felt Mazen Namdekano. Going there every day, lying to Mazen Namdekano. Mazen Namdekano said, cancel the seat at home. Even though that first one we did, Mazen Namdekano insists that we shouldn't carry it on. But because of the directive from Mazen Shike Dozim, he did it. And then, he said, okay, because message come often. He said, okay, we are going to stop it. Now you understand what I'm saying. Then Eberima carried it up, say, oh, wow, 
this is opportunity for me to, you know, grow. So what I'm trying to tell you people is this. Mas Ishike Dozim is the person in charge. Whenever any directive comes from Mas Ishike Dozim, from Mas Nam County, Mas Ishike Dozim, we have men that are going to sit and discuss about it. Because Mas Ishike Dozim himself knows that every discussion with every of our barrister, from Barrister Ifanye Jofo, from Barrister uh, uh, San of Sakome, Ejimako, Nkedemen Kogiri, Ejio Emeka, every of them, even though all of Mazen Nam, the Kano siblings that are going to DSS to visit him, every of their conversation, they are they have everything. So you want Mazichike, those after DSS will listen to what is the Mazen Nam can tell them. He would say, okay, let us do it the way Mazen Nam can said it. Are you now understanding what I'm saying? We have to tell ourselves the truth. Mazen Namdekanu remains our leader. Mazen Namdekanu remains the highest commander and the highest authority. That position, nobody can ever take it away from him. But as we are humans, we also have to understand that he is a second in command. Whenever the first in command travels, or he is, or she is in trouble, that second person to take over till the person returns. That is how it is. That is why we have secretary of the state. That is why we have vice president. You see, all these things is because something can happen. The person the first man can be somewhere and can be able to give a decision or can be able to come out and announce something, he will push it to the second in command so he could come announce it. We remember when dead Bugari, they were taking Bugari to every hospital in this world. Who is in charge by then? Usipan Job. He is the one that giving directive. Go to our coastal region of Biafra go and make peace with them, go to these people, go and talk to them. And as Bugari came back, on mask now, because he is the one in charge, he abolished everything again. He start where he stopped. So allow Mazichi Kedozem to do whatever he want to do. If Mazin Namdekan comes out and see that or think that what he did is not right, we are going to also amend things. But I'm telling you people, every communication you are having with Mazen Namdekano in DSS dungeon, the DSS are taking record and they are recording everything. That is why you see Mazen Baristi Fanye Jofo is a wise man. He never go there to gossip. And only Mazen if I need your fault, it's only one can speak with Mazen Namdekan with eyes. They will understand. He don't need to be talking. With eyes talking, they don't understand. Because he is Mazen Namdekan most trusted. He is the one that freed Mazen Namdekan in 2015. Waiting for the court. Before they came to Afaroku to kill him. Mazen Namdekan did not kill Mazen Namdekan by then. He did not sell him out. It's now because of propaganda from here and there. And some people that want to take over Mazen Namdekan position, saying that it's from Afaruku Ibeku. We are not here for that nonsense. I have said it out with that number. So now you understand. I will play Mazi, our Dim General video. I will play it, but it will be, I think it will be tomorrow. I am back again. We are not going to stop. We have understand that on this quest of self-determination, we have made up our mind to stay here, to, to, you know, to keep on pushing for Biafra. But I keep on saying this, things have to be changed. 
we have created awareness enough. This campaign have gone to every corner of the world. This our campaign of Biafra restoration. The world have listened. Are you getting my point? I thank you all for listening today, great people of Biafra. I salute the dogs because they are wise. I salute you, she, she dear. On 30th of May, she paid royalty to those that died for us to be here. But those people call themselves the siblings. Do you see anybody? Even though if they did not come to the protest, or the heroes, am I going to call it protest? No. We are remembering that it wasn't a protest, it was just a remembrance of our heroes and heroine day. Did you see any of Mazen Namdekanon's so called siblings? Okay, if they did not come out to join, did you see them putting any uh, uh, candlelight for them? Did you see them make any short video to show the world? But I'm telling you, people, if you ask them, they will tell you it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a private. No, it's not a private. All these protests we have been going since the adoption of our leader. As a bureau is living here in Germany. The one called himself idiot master prophet is living here in Germany. Uh, what is their name? The Madam Finance that I have been in protest with her more than six or seven times if I'm not mistaken. Since the adoption of our leader rendition to that contraption called Daminable Zoo, she never surfaced in any protest. She never. If I None of them, you can't see none of them. What they are there is begin to say all manners of things from their mouth. None of them were seen. None. Tomorrow they will come and tell you uh, our money is uh, is independent. That is why I said, according to to Madame Finance, I have I heard her last her last broadcast. You know, if for everything we said, we stand on that. You know, when I when I came out, tell them that the impersonation of Radio Biafra. Ikech Kwanora stop now. He knows. He knows what we can do. We send the message to a proper channel. He knows what we can do. And he stopped because he was impersonating it. Now, finance have changed his direction to Umo Koko. I heard her last time. She said she's not going to release the money. The money is in intact. Okay, let us take it that way. She said she's not going to release the money. Uh, okay. Uh, but we are waiting for Nyindu to come out. That is why, because as far as she has said, the money is where he, the money is. Okay, let us believe her for that for, for, for this time. To remove and we can come out. We are going to begin to ask questions. I told you people, you people never know me. When Mazin Namdekan will come out, he will love us so much. Mazi will say, yes, this is the people we want. Not to Mazi, right on. Mazi continue. Holy, holy, no. He's still holy. And he's another, he's still another savior. But this time around, there must be a very, very, very serious questions. There's no two ways about it. And I know that with this thing that happens to Mars and Namkin, we have learned a lot. We have learned more. Since we went to America, Mars and Namkin went to America, they begin to sell our people. I greet you all for listening. I will still come back again. I greet you. May Shukuo Kikabiyama continue to bless you, continue to guide you, and give you strength and wisdom to be able to stand till the end. Because at the end of the tunnel, you will see a light, and the husband will praise you, will come back to you once again, and you people are going to live in peace. Because this time around, what happens to our leader can never happen again. I salute you all. Good day and remain blessed. The doors are wise.